and now I'll come back home. As we don't see how JSX they work, maybe we explore more about the component. So I already tell you, I say we get two kind of components. We get the class components, the functional component. The functional component nine we go they use for this video. So because I know so they use the class component. So if you now want to read up more about them, don't worry. I go drop link for the video for now. But now if you read up more about the class based component or what we call class components for React. So it is to say we don't use JSX now. They render this uh, dynamic information, but this information we say we know puts now in the calculating self. But every time we will render this our component for here, anytime we will render and they duplicate that, it always tell us the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. What about say we want we say based on the age we say we they pass into RAM or the age where we they give them, we want make it they show us something like we want make it they do something for us. How we gonna take do them? for our real component so it's a very simple thing you could just come here you're gonna need to do what with they call props so when i put on the year me they talk props 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 no worry props are very simple thing once your head there around them you go understand now so i can clean this uh, app component where i put this class name for here so we could just say we want to do a props props just be like arguments so because we want to use props we could say we want props and this props uh, object waiting in the letters they do say if they let us the write code we say if, if we know they get problem if we want to do something uh, this this props object if it go they it go they help us they add something on top of our code for example if you just say okay well, instead of this props dot number now when they pass this props into here instead of 60 and then whatever props whatever time will be the column say make it a render RAM. so because now objects will they work with right because these props could be object we they work with we will come say okay we'll make this props dot and then if you just keep from say um h make the column h all right so we'll say h and then we want another props dot h so we can say well, for here we want render props dot h now if i press save for here you know understand waiting this norm b make i clean this norm you know understand waiting this h b if I press save, you go see say it don't come out this text. You know it just show you I am this, I am that. But we not be waiting. We want waiting. We want to be say we want to say based on if the age they less than fifty, they make it do something. But because now if they render and you don't get any age, so that now why it not show us any age. So how we go take add these props? Remember, say I tell you now, say information for React they pass from parent to child. That means say we go need go the parent component, and then here. Now, so we will take past that information. So if we just say H, I want to do that like this. This is not the props where this text component they expect for inside the parent component. Remember, I said the app component now be the parent of this component where they show. So we want to put that inside here. So we're going to say equals to print and you press save. You go see say it just they display the text i am 20 years old why because now string so if we even if we make the text say we want make a 120 make make out you just see say you see they show us so if you they pass the age onto anything where you want so make you say i'm h equals this you can send them to 30 for here and now you just see say we they get this error for here well this error now because say we know put them inside our Curly brace. So whenever they write JSX, whenever I want to put number, always they put them inside your curly brace. So we could just wrap them inside curly brace, and just like that, the error don't clear. So if I press save now, you go see say it they show us this calculation here. Of course, we make this change down to sixty, and we change down to sixty. It's supposed to tell us say the opposite how far. So we press save. This is say now it they change to sixty, but if we put them back for thirty. For here. You can see say if they evaluate so based on the props where will they give them with the render so make i show now a very other uh, another nice example make we say if the age of this person na 20 for example then make we say make the 20 make it a bigger for example so make we add some styles based on the condition right so how we take do that kind of thing for react simple make we just come here say we want const my styles and this my styles make we just say we want assign them to something so an object so this object now now here we're going to pass all the styles we want so we'll just say color and then we're going to say make the color so because we want the props now we're going to say if the props 
dot h if it day less than something make it do something right so if we could say okay well, if props does h as a matter of fact it won't say what i for like do be say i for like just write an expression here so we could just come out this i'm going to just turn them to is true for now true or is old or older older okay so make we assign them to a variable for the top here and say okay well, is older and assign that to there so we could just assign them to a variable so we could just say um const so if it's older than uh, if the person passed 50 now that time way it could render this thing and then it go show us the age for here okay so then i'm waiting this our component this our text component they do so instead of writing this expression all the time less than 50 so we just say is older so if it's older then if it's older we won't write like a ternary operator so we'll say it's older then make the text or make the uh color make it we'll put them to a string i will say red otherwise we we'll go say make the text make it be green all right so it's either red or it's either green if it's older and then we we'll want apply that styles to here here so we we'll just say styles for inside here so you we'll just say my styles if i yeah so if you save like this i think this is not supposed to be older it's supposed to be younger so and then i could just say younger okay younger okay so we could just start like this so we're not going to be confused so if you're younger then make it show uh red and if you're uh older uh, actually make we even change this to 18 because now the normal drinking age with this now never reach 18 no drink oh. so if you don't reach 18 if you drink so if the person they older for example if the person they younger sorry and uh, less than 18 then at that time this condition will be red say the person no feel the text go red but if the person know they older than 18 the person senior 18 or equals to 18 then um uh, yes or equals to 18 at that time the person go fit uh the text go be green so that's why this text for here not green so we come this string now and they say okay oh, the age now um five years old or something so make you say five years old with the working so react will even help us convert the type but for clarity make we write them say so that your team members they will say i'm saying oh this now five and this now this is not that uh, if you add as many props as you want so make we add another props we want make the the props they affect or they change the text size where we work with so you can say font size font size so because now number we they want so we go say props dot size this will be anything so if it will be say my size so you can say my size okay or if you say fw you no matter anything we want just make sure say you do am props dot that and then it will help us show that size otherwise you know go do the size so we could do that like this uh, sorry my object so we could save them refresh and this is say now we don't get anything so we could try add this prop dot size because now we get font size but we don't get anything for inside our font size so make we try add that font size we're going to affect only the age just like we did before and then we could just come here and then go say size and this my size we could just assign them to um, a number and then if you just call the size uh make a column say we get like um make column 40 pixels and this 40 pixels if you done like this it will give us a size but because we don't get any number inside them make you add age the H props. I just say we don't add two props now. And if you just add, uh, make a column uh, 22. So it'll be 22 years old. And this is say now because we don't add that prop size, and uh, that prop size, it don't they affect anything. So we feel they add the prop size anywhere where we want. And if we say, okay, oh, make this text for here, make it big oh, um, or make it small oh, and all those kind of things, we feel do for here. So, so we just they pass these props from here and then we they pass the props into our components with the inside here and then we just they render that component based on the um, props where we pass inside here so always be cautious about your props i would advise we, we they get other ways where we feel they manage your props but i know we'll get into those kind of things now so i believe say this now waiting we're gonna need to learn about um components and props for react to so. all we will go fit length if you they enjoy this kind of video i beg make and let me know if you get suggestion you feel also let me know for the comment side of this video and they always they try and reply but if you now want hear me directly no wala now if you join our telegram community
Otherwise, thanks for watching. Oh. Wow, wow, wow.